Hello, everyone, and welcome to Discover Women in Jazz 2023. <laughs> jazz FM 91 is proud to promote the third season of Discover Women in Jazz, a program sponsored by the Pat and Tony Adams Freedom Fund for the Arts, a legacy fund bequeathed by Tony Adams for, to honor the love that he and Pat shared and to continue their tradition of encouraging jazz artists. This is the third of five concerts in this series, tonight featuring composer, lyricist, and arranger Emma Cava. Emma's composition style takes cues from jazz-adjacent artists like Frank Zappa and Nellie McKay, delivering earworm melodies and attention-grabbing harmonies with finesse and a wry sense of humor. Her lyrics have been described by peers as wickedly funny, unflinchingly honest, and like an intimate conversation between two wallflowers at a loud party. Emma is an arranger of jazz standards, hymns, and folk songs for SATB Jazz Voice, and she has sung in classical jazz and gospel choirs for 15 years. Please welcome Emma Cava. Hello, listeners, near and far, here and at home. This is One by One by Wayne Shorter, with lyrics that I wrote. Shuffle through the deck of cats one by one to forget why I'm feeling so bad. I want the one that I had once. How could I ever find a love as supreme as a love from right out of a dream? One gone by one, and I feel so freaking done. Playing the field of you're still hung up on the one. Da 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 Yeah. 
bells are going out, but I'm staying in alone, playing round on my phone. Swipe left, swipe right, who will be my friend tonight? I shuffle through the deck of cats one by one to forget why I'm feeling so bad. Supreme as a love from right out of a dream. One con by one, and I feel so freaking done. I guess I'm meant to be alone for a while, cause I'm still hung up on the wall. Still, still hung up on the wall. Thank you. This next tune is one of the first tunes I wrote that I didn't cringe of while I was finishing it. Like, oh, just submit it for a course. <laughs> Bye. Um, I really, I am proud of it. Written about an encounter I'm not so proud of. This is a modern courtship story called Song for Bay. Do you recall our tender love affair? Bay. The leaves were brown and love was in the air, Bay. And though we never actually met, the time we spent, the text we sent, I never will forget. Remember when you said you'd come around, Bay. But suddenly your father was in town, Bay. The seventh time he visited, I finally knew the score. It wasn't daddy knocking at your door. Ooh, babe, why'd you have to make it weird? When you know very well, I put you before anyone else. I was so young, so dumb, so blind. To all you hid I never had a second thought but you did well the men of the world were my oyster and some of them may have had pearls but I made it clear that true love was here while you were pulling all those moves on countless other girls, ooh, babe, why'd you have to be so cruel? You could have told the truth. It's not like anyone would die. I caught you in your lie, and suddenly you disappeared. Why'd you have to make it weird? Do you recall the moments that we shared, Bay? And all the little secrets that I bared, Bay? For someone who I never even met. The time we spent, the texts we sent are ones I most regret. Remember when you asked me for a new Bay. And after you had not have been more rude, Bay, by morning all the world had seen me cater to your needs, and no one even threw me any beads. Oh, Bay, why'd you have to make it weird when you know very well those pictures weren't for anyone else? so dumb, so bare to all you do. I never had a second thought till I met you. Now the men of the world were my treasure. Some of them may have been gems, but I made it clear my diamond was here while you were Slide. 
getting out of other girls' DMs is vain. Why'd you have to be so cruel? If you'd have told the truth, then I wouldn't have to cry. I caught you in every little lie. Suddenly you disappeared. Ooh, babe, why'd you have to make it weird? Ooh, we are, but Anthony D'Alessandro on piano over here. Give it up. Oh. You know, the men of the world were my treasure. Some of them may have been gems. But I made it blunt. I called off a hunt while you were sliding in and out of other girls' DMs. Woohoo, babe, why'd you have to be so You could have told the truth, then I wouldn't have to cry. Ooh, you know, you did me wrong. There's no doubt in it, the only weirder thing would be to write a song about it, ooh, babe. Why'd you have to make it weird? We'll never know why. This next tune is inspired by a local Toronto venue called Bluebird Bar near uh, High Park in Ronsi. Um, partly inspired by that. Uh, this is a ballad I wrote a couple years ago called Bluebird in the Fall. When it's September, I pause and remember a tear in my eye when I think I met him here a year ago today, that blue bird in the fall. He sang from a rafter and spent the night after Sipping from everyone's drink He really caused a stir that night The people there appalled But lucky were we to hear An earful of a bluebird in the fall As trees 
trees shed their cover I dreamt of my lover My window left open a crack So he could bring his feathers in If ever he came back Up grew the clover and winter was over I dreamt when the skies were all clear That I would hear that old familiar tune The one that warmed me so But soon came the word my little friend had passed along Flying for a warmer sky I never got to say goodbye what a peculiar bird Who waits until a storm to take his wing What a peculiar bird Who sings his tune in fall but dies in spring Bird call in summer is really a bummer The finches and pigeons and wrens Prove no replacement for my little mate No creature fit to imitate I'll wait until December comes again Perched in this little bar Listening for his call Wishing upon a star That I may hear my old friend Bluebird in the fall peculiar bird who waits until a storm to take his wing what a peculiar bird who sings his tune in fall but dies in spring bird call in summer is really a bummer the finches and pigeons in wrens prove no replacement for my little mate no creature fit to imitate I'll wait until December comes again Perched in this little bar Listening for his call Wishing upon a star That I may hear my old friend Bluebird in the fall. Thank you. I'm glad you liked that one. That's a really special tune for me. Um, hope you like the lyrics on that one. This next one doesn't have lyrics. Uh, it's an instrumental I wrote about hitting rock bottom and it's entitled 13th Step In. One, two, one, two, three, four. 
Ba do ba ba do ba 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 ya no. Ba do ba ba do ba 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 di ba. Ba do 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 ba do
Give it up for Emma Kava, everybody. Amazing first half. Emma, thank you so very much for being here with us tonight and for sharing your music with us. Uh, you have a really talented band here with you. Would you take a moment to introduce us? Gladly. Thank you, Lena. Which cue card has the band on it? There it is. Um, on guitar, we have Liam Stanley. Liam has played with me uh, since university. We went to York University together. Um, he played on my album young lady and he will play on more albums soon um, also on the piano we have anthony d'alessandro who also played on my album <laughs> anthony is in demand he just got back well just it's summertime um, got back on tour from his tour with katie george and he is always on the go glad to have you here today on bass we behind me we have chris banks I really love playing with Chris. Um, during rehearsals, he's got such an attention to detail, which as a Virgo, I just love. Virgos know. Um, and he's always just 100% in service of the music. And for that same reason, I love playing with our drummer tonight, Nick Frazier. Um, he has such an extensive body of work, um, which means basically that he is willing and able and very willing to put my twisted musical ideas um, into reality. So thank you, Nick and Liam and Chris and Anthony. Thank you, band. Yes, thank you and thank you, Reyna. <laughs> so Emma, I would love if you could tell us a little bit about your journey into jazz. My journey into jazz was a lifelong one. Uh, I mean, growing up, jazz was the music that was in the house. My parents listened to it. We listened to it on car rides. And after pursuing kind of a foundation of technique through choral music and classical music, it was natural for me to return to jazz for my post-secondary studies at York. And it was fate that I would end up going to a school which is so diverse, where I got to learn about different people and different musical traditions from all over the world, and kind of, in a way, kind of absorb different elements um, in the name of creating my own sound, not just jazz. So while I was learning that jazz vocabulary that everyone's got to learn to take part in the art form, I was kind of putting my own spin on it, and developing my music. You've done an amazing job developing your music. You are such a talented composer and arranger. And I was just curious, with all of your experience, what do you think makes for a really good arrangement? A really good arrangement for me does three things. The first and most important thing is that it has to make sense to your band, whether you've written it out in a way that everyone can understand, or you're teaching it by oral and oral um, traditions, uh, as long as you are making sense and everyone's on the same page, that's going to be the great foundation for getting out what you want to your listeners. The second thing that is important, especially for me, is that the song has to mean something to you. There is something to be said for like taking whatever song is really big right now and trying to create an arrangement of it and trying to create an arrangement of it in a time-sensitive manner so that you can get it while it's still hot and make something while it's still popular. But like the arrangements that I always come back to when I'm planning my set list for performing are songs that mean something to me, whether it's because of the time it reminds me of, like the time and place when I was listening to that song, um, or just that I love the lyrics and they speak to me. And the third, I said most important, most important one was the band. The third one and last one is um, that your arrangement should pay respect to the source material. Um, and that goes so beyond just the melody or just the groove, like putting a new groove on it. Those are fun things to do. But also, if you're doing focused listening, like really listening to everything the record has to offer, you'll be able to hear all the different little motifs going on, the different instruments. 
and also giving those kind of new life and using those as material for your arrangement as well. So my goal when I'm arranging is for the person who wrote the source material to, if they were to hypothetically hear it, they would hear all those little bits that they put in and they would say, that'll do, pig, that'll do. <laughs> Well, I know we're all itching to hear a lot more of your compositions and arrangements, so I just have one more question for you before we get back to the music. Um, you've been part of this Discover Women in Jazz program. How has that experience been for you? This has been such a great experience to be in Discover Women in Jazz. It couldn't have come at a better time, too, um, because the level of personalized support that I received in this program, throughout this program, went far beyond my expectations. Uh, the biggest struggle I've had throughout my time with music is that I don't know, I didn't know how to market myself. I know a lot of other musicians struggle with that because we can't find words to describe our value on paper, even if the music says all that we need to say about how great our music is. Um, being able to consult with the Discover Women in Jazz panelist, Jesse Ryan, great saxophonist, great marketing person, um, that changed how I feel about my music and about myself. It changed how I write about my music and myself and how I think about my music and myself. So now, thanks to that coaching, I have a better plan of how to bring this music to a bigger audience. Emma, we are thrilled to have you as part of the program and for you to be here with us tonight. Uh, I'm going to turn it back over to you and your band. So everyone, once again, Emma Cava. <laughs> Well, speaking of a bigger audience, I wrote this song for everybody in Toronto, and I hope, well, I hope you don't relate to it, but we all kind of do. It's called Yellow Belt Blues. A one, two, three, two, two, three. A house is not a home. When only one man lives inside A house is not a home When only one man lives inside A house is just a hoard Where all the money bags are stored when a wealthy man has too much green to hide
If only one man lives inside A house is not a home If only one man lives inside A house is just a hoard Where all the money bags are stored When a wealthy man has nowhere left to hide when a wealthy man has nowhere left to hide when a wealthy man has nowhere left to Thank you. Or should I say merci for this next tune? When the trumpet player Roy Hargrove passed away, I knew that I wanted to write a lyric to his breakout hit, Strasbourg Saint Denis, and I knew that I wanted to take it to the next level and write lyrics in French about the Strasbourg Saint Denis neighborhood in Paris that he wrote the song about. So, faced with a really hard assignment, I did what any millennial would do, and I asked my mom to write it for me. <laughs> just, just kidding. We, we wrote it together. Here's the French lyric that my mom and I wrote together. Um, uh, and it's called, um, the title of the lyric is A la porte Saint-Denis, which means at the gates of Saint-Denis. One. C'est l'éléphant de gelée, j'en passe. Aucun détail il nous ignore, tu m'embrasses. Ah oui, la scène t'a mis, salut la nuit, je te suis. On monte ici, salut la nuit, à Strasbourg Saint-Denis. Sur les trois tombes de saint noir viens le voir. Nous promenons par le néon pénétrant, ah oui. N'est pas un oui, on trouve ici bonhomie. La bonhomie, elle vit ici, à Strasbourg Saint-Denis. Égalité, fraternité, multiculturalité, nous les trouvons dedans. Pour aller donner la chance, voyons voir avec les yeux, et plutôt avec le cœur, la diversité unie. À la porte Saint-Denis, tous sont abris. C'est la manie.
Toujours les gens passent. Aucun des deux est musique, non, tu m'embrasses. Ça oui, la c'est mis, salut la nuit, je te suis. On monte ici, salut la nuit, à Strasbourg, Saint-Denis. C'est le trop trop des hommes de noir, viens le voir. Nous promenons pas le néon pénétrant. Ça oui, la c'est mis, salut la nuit, je te suis. Oh mon Dieu, si ça lui la nuit, c'est la manie. We're gonna switch from French into Italian. This next song, um, I've been exploring my Italian American roots a little, and I wrote these lyrics in Italian um, to kind of explore that heritage. In the Italian theater tradition called Commedia dell'arte, one of the characters called Pulcinella um, is usually a silent character, except on rare occasions throughout a performance, um, if they have something really important to say, they'll break the fourth wall and address the audience directly to really tell it like how it is. So these lyrics I've written kind of about waiting my turn until it's my scene to tell the audience how it really is. Here is La Pulcinella. Quando il sole splende, la luna non si vede. Quando le nuvole si aprono, Nessuno ringrazia la brezza quando le bellezze e valuti e bruti sono senza un soldo. Sono impotenti finché i ricci regnano sul mondo. E così questa è la commedia della vita. La diva canta su va con sole infinita. 
alma de hecho le cuente un hombre a respeta el público finalmente la sentirá la luce si abasará no el sipario cadrano o pulcinela cantaci la verità Cuando el sol esplende, la luna no se ve. Cuando le nuvole si aprono, nessuno ringrazia la brezza. Cuando le bellezza e valuti il bruti sono senza un soldo. Sono impotenti, finge il ricci regna non al mondo. E così questa è la commedia della vita. La diva cante suo canzone. Dietro le quinte, un'ombra aspetta, il pubblico finalmente la sentirà, la luce si abbasserà, no, il sipario cadrà, no, oh Pulcinella. Emma Cava, everybody. A big thank you to everyone for being here tonight and to everyone for supporting Jazz FM 91 and Discover Women in Jazz. Huge thanks to the Pat and Tony Adams Freedom Fund for the Arts, as well as our long-standing partnership with RBC Emerging Artists for Jazzology. For more information about Emma and to learn more about this series, just head to our website, jazz.fm. I'm Raina Hirsch. Thank you so very much for joining us tonight. Emma, would you play us out with one more tune? Gladly. Just give it up one more time for my band, Liam, Stanley, Nick Frazier, Chris Banks, Anthony D'Alessandro.
One more time for Emma Cava. Thank you all so much. Thank you to those who are listening remotely too. And um, this last tune is another a tune that I've written in Italian. I intend to include it on what will be my first full length album, which is coming out in the next few years. Um, oh, now I have to actually do it now. Great. Um, but this, <laughs> uh, this song is called La Familia, which means the family in Italian. And it's a song about traveling the world over and managing to find people who remind you of home, for better or worse. One, two, one, two, three, four. Bello risere di nuovo nel mio paesino dopo un po'. Ho viaggiato lungo e in largo, non lo trovare il mio posto. Si dice che l'erba del vicino sia più verde, ma non è vero. Si le vicini ti sputtana nella erba, tua fortuna crescerà come un Finalmente Mi disse non hanno le cattive L'abbiamo fatto pensare a te Mi disse un saggio meglio malo Accompagnato chi solo E quindi sono qui a che si volta E che si gira io so sempre la famiglia Tua finera
sempre di nuovo nel mio paesino dopo un po' ho viaggiato lungo e in largo voglio trovare il mio posto si dice che l'erba del vicino sia più verde ma non è vero se le vocini ti sportano nella erba la tua fortuna crescerà come una vera si dice di l'erba di nuovo nel mio paesino finalmente incontrato persone cattive che mi hanno fatto pensare a te mi disse un saggio meno malo accompagnato chi solo e quindi sono qui a che si volta e che si gira io sono sempre là 